Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to build this uh, Android authentication app. The authentication part will be done by the Google Firebase. And let me just quickly give you a preview of the app that we are going to build. So this will be the main page or main activity. Here we'll have a login button as well as a register link. If you click on the register, then we have the register activity where you can enter your details to get registered on the app. And all of these fields or all of the edit text have validation methods. So you cannot enter some made up values. Like for example, in the edit text for email, you have to enter a valid email only. You cannot enter anything except a valid email. Then we have this date of birth. Here we are using a date picker so you just click on the calendar icon and then the date picker will let you pick a date. Then we have the radio buttons for selecting gender. Then the edit text for the mobile here also we are using validation so you cannot enter anything except which is a valid mobile number and in India the mobile numbers start with either 6, 7, 8 or 9 and it should be 10 digits long we are not verifying the mobile numbers but we are just validating and for that we will be using regular expression we'll get to that part later And then just enter the password the password has to be six digit long and then the user has to tick on this i agree with the terms of service and you can see it is showing an error that the user is already registered with this email so we are using exception also Firebase exception to display the exact error that is occurring in the backend. So let me just change this email ID. And you can see after successfully registering, the app is asking to verify the email. And for that, one email has been sent to the inbox of my email ID where i have to go and click on the verification button and if we log out of this app then we will not be able to log in again without verifying the email since we are directly coming from the registration activity so we have been allowed the access to the profile then you can see on the bottom we have the date on which we registered on the top part we can upload one profile picture I'm using Picasso to show the image here and you can see the display picture is available. Then let's see what other activities we have here. Then we have this update profile details where we can enter or update the details of your profile. On the bottom we have update email link and then we have the upload profile picture link. These are separate activities. Now if we open upload profile picture, we can see the picture that we have uploaded before. Now opening up update email. Updating email is a little tricky. We cannot just allow the user to update its email without verifying or authenticating that the user is in fact a valid user. So we will have to enter the password and then click on authenticate. If the user is authenticated successfully, then he can go ahead and change the email. And then one email verification link will be sent to the new email as well. Same goes for the change your password activity. The user has to enter their current password and then verify or authenticate themselves before they can go ahead and change the password. And in the delete profile activity as well, we have to enter the current password, authenticate ourselves. And then we can click on delete profile and all the data which is related to the user will be deleted everything has been deleted now
so this was just a preview of the application that we are going to build and also we have this forgot your password activity in case a user forgets his or her password this will send one reset password email to the inbox of the user from where the user can quickly change their password and if you click on exit then the app is going to close so don't forget to click on like and subscribe to the channel